What's the most stolen trailer in America today? The cargo trailer. And what's the most popular trend in camping today? It's the converted cargo trailer. That's not a good combination. But stick around for some more ideas on how to keep your investment safe. I think most of the criminals today are drug addicts and they're looking for easy pickings. They're looking for, when we're talking about stealing cargo trailers, we're looking for something that they can just hitch up to and head out. They don't want anything that's going to take time. And I don't think there's so much looking for a cargo trailer, but like I mentioned in my last video, they're looking for what's on the inside. So right now I just want to drive around my neighborhood here a little bit and just look at cargo trailers and see how they're secured, if at all. Let's go check it out. Well, here's one. That one just had a lock on the lever and uh, the chains are still on it. No lock at all. And we're just coming up on one sitting in somebody's driveway up here. And here's one coming up down here. And this little trailer here, little uh, 6x10, there's no locks on it. Just one on the lever on the front. And one on the left side here, somebody's driveway. I don't see any locks at all on that one. Tow chain's still on it. Okay, coming up here on the right-hand side is what they think they're getting when they steal your trailer. And what do we got here? Is a big one. Probably get stopped by the cops here for surreptitious behavior. Well, aren't we casing? We're casing the joint. <laughs> Okay, here's one coming up on my left side. Right there. Well, yeah, there was a lock on the front of the hitch. And one coming up down the street here. Check that one out. He's got a cheap lock on the front. One like I used to have. So with all the trailers that we're seeing just here in my neighborhood, there's literally dozens and most of them only have like a bail lock on the front that you can easily cut with a pair of bolt cutters and be gone or they all have their chains still on the hitch. So what's a thief going to do? He's going to pull up in front of one of those and just wrap those chains around and go. So what do you need to do? you need to have the layers of protection like I've been talking about because a thief is not going to go to your trailer that's got a boot on it and a ball hitch lock on it and and maybe some other measures that you can think of like if you got it jacked up a, not, a little bit or something like that they're not gonna mess with you 
because they want that easy pickings. Also, if your little trailer looks like a camp trailer, they're not going to mess with you either. They're not after your barbecue grill. They're after a trailer full of tools. That's what they want. So with what I just showed you, you can see that a thief isn't going to take the time to mess with a trailer that's been properly secured to the best of your ability. Make sure you got a good hitch lock on. This is the one I've been waiting to show you. Um, Proven Industries was kind enough to send us these locks and I told them I wouldn't do a review until I had run them through their paces and we did. We had them out in the desert, up in the woods, uneven terrain, places where it, maybe it would have been hard to put on but it's actually really easy to put on and it's really robust and no one's driving away with this one on your, on your tire. Now the first thing I always hear when I when I show the like like I did my first trailer thief uh, video uh, that got uh, a lot of views and I got uh, you know fourteen or fifteen hundred comments and what people kept saying was oh they're just going to cut those locks or they're just going to pick those locks or, or they're going to defeat those locks well it's like I mentioned every lock can be defeated every one but. From what I just showed you driving around the neighborhood here, why would they come here to steal this little trailer when they're going to have to play around with trying to pick or defeat this lock somehow? Why would they do that? They're not going to. I'll take this and I'll show it to you in, in closer detail. Well, first of all, I don't know what this weighs, but it's heavy. <laughs> it's made out of a quarter inch steel. This is all American made steel. The lock on it is protected around the outside so you can't get anything in underneath to knock it off. It's got the uh, special tumbler on it, which is uh, even the lock picking lawyer says it's difficult to pick. It takes a special tool and it locks onto your wheel really well. They make different sizes and you need to tell Proven Industries what size tire you're using and they'll send you the proper uh, wheel lock. But we like it. And it's not big and cumbersome like some of them are some of the ones that cover your lug nuts, they're, they're um, big and cumbersome and they, they're hard to put on and they're weak. This one's not weak. It would take a lock to defeat this, to defeat this boot. Let me show you something else. What I did on my wheel here is there's five locking lug nuts and they're two different brands. Who's going to play with that? That's going to take a while. Yeah, you can get those off somehow, some way, if you know what you're doing. But the average drug addict, he's not, he's not going to mess with this. If they want your trailer bad enough, they're going to find a way to get it. But for the average thief, you're safe. I like the design. We felt good about it when we were traveling. It was easy enough to put on, easy enough to put on that my wife could do it. The lock lined up well. That was all really easy. And it's not so big that it takes up a lot of space in the, in the trunk of your car or the back of your truck, whatever. I think it's a really great product myself. Now, I don't do product reviews. I, I haven't done them in my past videos, and I don't intend to do very many at all in my future videos. Reason being that I have to use something and like it before I'm gonna do a review on it. And when this was offered to me, I had already planned on getting these. If you're looking for the ultimate safety for your trailer, I think this is it. This is the best there is on the market right now. And I know that Ron Lee at Proven Industries puts a lot into his products and he's always improving them. And of course, it goes without saying, you need to do your best to park your trailer in a safe area where there's uh, some security around it. Make sure it's well lit at night too. 
One thing that's mentioned a lot in the comment section of the videos on trailer theft is that you should get a GPS tracker, and you should. They're fairly reasonable. Even even the best ones, you can get you can get them that are entirely dependent on uh, on satellite and not cell service so much. And those you pay about forty five or fifty dollars a month. And you only have to pay for them when you're using them. So during the winter months or the nine months out of the year you're not driving your trailer around, you don't have to pay that 45 a month. It's similar to what the hikers use when they're uh, doing remote hikes. Uh, if they want to get airlifted out or something, they, they buy these GPS trackers. And they can communicate via satellite. Well, those, those are probably the best, the ones that don't depend on a cell signal, especially out here in the West where uh, cell signals are, are sometimes hard to come by. But remember, a GPS tracker is not an anti-theft device. It's an after-the-fact device. It's after your trailer has already been stolen. So the point of my videos is to keep your trailer from being stolen in the first place. Now, if you do decide to go with a GPS tracker and your trailer is stolen, remember, don't go get the trailer yourself. It's okay to track it down using your cell phone and find out where it's at, but be sure you call the police. Don't go after some thief yourself. That's not safe. And if your trailer has been stolen and you've managed to track it down with a GPS tracker, it's likely to be damaged. Because like I said earlier, what they're interested in is what's inside your trailer. So likely the door is going to be cut open or the wall is going to be cut open or something like that and the contents stolen from inside. So remember, the most important thing is to keep it from being stolen to begin with. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you around.